Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, Putin's war on Ukraine is monstrous and unjustified. I am in regular contact with the Ukrainian Minister of the Interior and the Ambassador to London. The United Kingdom stands firmly with the people of Ukraine, and as this House would expect, Britain is stepping up its role and playing its part in responding to the terrible situation on the ground in Ukraine. Mr Speaker, the Government has already announced the first phase of a bespoke humanitarian route for the people of Ukraine, and the new Ukrainian humanitarian route responds directly to the needs and asks of the Ukrainian Government. Every conflict and threat situation is unique and requires a tailored response. Our new route will continue to keep pace with the developing situation on the ground and so far has already supported hundreds of British nationals and their families resident in Ukraine to leave. The UK visas and immigration staff continue to work around the clock to a system, enable dependents of British national residents in Ukraine who need a UK visa to apply through the temporary location in Lviv, in Lviv or through the visa application centres in Poland, Moldova, Romania and Hungary. Teams have over recent weeks been surged to these areas and applications have been completed within hours. We are in direct contact with individuals and we have also lowered various requirements and salary thresholds so that people can be supported. Where family members of British nationals do not meet the usual eligibility criteria but pass security checks, UK visas and immigration will give them the permission to enter the UK outside the rules for 12 months and is prioritising all applications. Given British nationals and any person settled in the UK, give it, sorry, given British nationals and any person settled in the UK, the ability to bring over their immediate Ukrainian family members. Through this extension alone, Mr. Speaker, I can confirm that an additional 100,000 Ukrainians will be able to seek sanctuary in the UK with access to work and public services. We are enabling Ukrainian nationals already in the UK, giving them the ability to switch free of charge into a points-based immigration route or through the family visa route. We are extending visas for UK temporary workers in some sectors, who, and they can now stay until at least December 2020, primarily because no one can return to the, UK, um, to, to the Ukraine. Sorry, 2022. Ukraine. And, Anyone in Ukraine intending to apply under the family migration route should call the dedicated 24-hour Home Office helpline for assistance before making an application. 